We've had reports from White Oak. We've had reports from Hamilton, Madeira, Indian Hill, uh, Anderson, uh, Mount Washington, and uh, Middletown. The bugs the Tri-State loves to hate are coming back to the Tri-State, and cicada expert Dr. Gene Kritsky says the emergence of cicadas are on an accelerated schedule. In 1991, we found that the cicadas were moved, growing faster than expected, which meant they should come out in the year 2000. This is the year that the 17-year cicadas the, that, that, that came out early in the year 2000, this should be their year. And it's quite probable that they'll be joined by other brood 10 cicadas, and those are the cicadas expected in four years will come out simultaneously. Cicadas know when to emerge because they can detect fluid flow in trees. Dr. Kritsky knows this from experimental evidence, but also from a January thaw 10 years ago. In January of 2007, we got so warm that some trees actually leafed out in January. In parts of Loveland, 17 year cicadas from brood 14, which were expected in 2008, they emerged a year early. Dr. Kritsky has found that cicadas emerge when the soil temperature gets to 65 degrees, which is driven by the air temperature. He's seeing a connection between warmer starts to years and cicada emergences. If you look at the first day of emergence of the periodical cicadas before 1950, that was always around the 29th of May. Now they're coming around between the 15th and 18th of May. While Dr. Kritsky reminds us that these accelerations are likely connected to a changing climate, they don't indicate whether this change is human caused or cyclical. There is, however, increasing evidence that these accelerations aren't just a local trend or connected to certain trees. This is a continental phenomenon. Whatever is happening, whatever is triggering this, is occurring over the eastern half of the United States. So that rules out local events. Uh, uh, it rules out things. Uh, it also rules out things that where people have suggested uh, uh, the die off of the ash tree, because we've got cicadas emerging under trees that aren't ashes. Dr. Kritsky also believes that this continental phenomenon is influencing the emergence of all cicada broods. Brood three emerged early. Brood five emerged early. Uh, we know that now we're seeing an early emergence of brood ten. We know that thirteen emerged early. We know fourteen emerged early. With the accelerations considered and the caveat that there is much to learn about this year's cicadas, Dr. Kritsky has a cicada outlook for the next several years. We'll see uh, some cicadas this year. We're going to see a lot of cicadas in 2021. And then we'll see a significant number of cicadas, but not as much, particularly on the east side of town uh, in 2025. I'm meteorologist Scott Timmick, Local 12 News.